So this week on the WBNL podcast, it's part two of our little special series where we're giving you an insight into our big 15 essentials workshop that we did. And it's going to be about choosing the right social media platform for you. Yeah. Join us right here on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. This is the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast where real estate and reality meet. And now your hosts, Jan O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome to the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 191 and you can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jan O'Brien, it was great to share those two little snippets last week from our 15th Century's workshop. We talked about being a um, uh, finding your niche or niche uh, and becoming a local market expert, which is so super important, something that you are really passionate about. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to jumping into our topic today. So what, what have we selected today from our course? Well, our, our we, workshop? we decided to, to showcase the piece that we did and with Cosmo, our partner's help on social media, finding the right a social media platform for you and and really the caveat is don't try to be all on all the social media platforms equally yeah. it's all about figuring out where do you like to be where are your clients and then we really got into a lot of details on what works on which platform so it wasn't meant for you to like become an expert in facebook instagram linkedin tiktok and all that youtube but it was an overview of if you're going to master a uh, YouTube or this, this, these are the things you have to be committed to. You know, we you know, didn't I thought have time. It was, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just gonna say we didn't. We had we covered so much in this workshop. It was 15 essentials, and we did it in such a way that we could get you thinking about it, and then encourage you to go take advantage of some of our free training that we have, joining our Dream Builders group, which we'll we'll share with you in, at the end here as well. Remind you. Uh, totally free, or to go get one of our courses, particularly the Real Estate Sales Builder course, where we really dive in deeply into these into these uh, different topics. Absolutely. I loved when Cosmo was talking about, because Cosmo is a, a student of social media, right? He really right. goes in and is always constantly trying new things. Right? And uh, and I didn't know he had been venturing into the TikTok world as much as he did. Neither did I. Have. You know, but the interesting thing about it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with it, because he's doing it as an experiment to see what he can do. And he's getting some crazy amount of views on some videos. However, they're not real estate related. And I know he does a lot of stuff around Henderson in Las Vegas. So that, mm -hmm. you know, it's building the local stuff. But are the TikTok viewers, do they translate or do they transfer and become real estate clients? I don't know. We'll see. And if anyone can find out, it'll be Cosmo. Do you know what you know what's great about Cosmo is that he's always staying on top of the yep. trends, especially when it comes to tech and social and what's up and what's working. He's willing to get out there and figure it out. He has uh, invested so much of his time and resources in uh, learning and various groups that he belongs to and so forth, on, mainly on Facebook. And, and so he was sharing a lot of that. And that was awesome. And honestly, his course that he put together uh, that's on our WBNL coaching YouTube is excellent. If you're thinking about doing YouTube, you want to go check that out. He's going to talk a little bit about it in this snippet you're going to see here. But honestly, we're focusing on, we've made the decision, all three of us, to our social media platform of choice, if you will, is YouTube, right. which is more like a search engine more than anything. But we leverage the other platforms. We're just not spending a lot of time being that person that you can see in Instagram stories. We're, we're, we're leveraging that to get our video content out, right, right Matt? I mean, yep. right. So we talk about things like that and, and a whole bunch more. So we really encourage you to go listen in on, um, you know, choose a social media platform, not all of them. Yep. So let's jump in and watch that video. As we have come to the conclusion, I'm I am one of the people here who I think was always like, let me try to be on all the different channels when they all came out. Instagram. I don't know how many times I've tried to be an Instagrammer. And it's just, you know, and this is the best advice that we're going to help you with here. Choose a primary social media platform, not all of them. Now, that being said, we choose YouTube and we use the others, the other platforms 
to help get our videos out. Okay. But we're not spending all day long on Facebook or Instagram. We have a team that takes our videos, breaks them down and gets them out and gets our message out through stories and all and and gets the benefits of some of the other channels. But we're decided that and it's through a long process that we decided video is what we're going to do. Okay. And that's what we're going to walk you through. Uh, first and foremost, I want, it's like everything. You've got to have a game plan. So why do you want to use social media? Well, people are on social, all right? But you've got to do your own check on this. So here's the conversation because it's a time suck. It can be a major time suck if you're not specific about what you're going to do and you don't answer these. You, you at least go through these questions and get clear. What platform do you like, number one, and are you going to use it all the time? Because if you don't, then it's not going to work for you. You're going to say, I'm going to go do Instagram, and then once every 30 days you post something, okay? So you have to like it. And then more importantly, who's your audience and where are they? So if there's a disconnect between, I love Facebook, but I'm going to work with millennials, well, guess what? They don't use Facebook, okay? <laughs> They're on Instagram or they might even be on TikTok, some people, right? So you've got to be on the platforms where your clients are, in my opinion. And you have to be consistent in your posting. Consistent meaning daily, really. And with content that the consumer wants, all right? Uh, so, and you're always actively working on building connections, just like you would if you did anything, Social media is like choosing to go farm, to go do, uh, you know, networking events. You have to do it consistently all the time to, to get known and for people to, to share. So I just want to hit some highlights here. For us, Facebook and Facebook may be your platform because that's where your audience is. But if you're going to do it, these are the keys. We, first of all, you need a business page if you're going to run ads and boost posts. OK, you have to have a business page. You can't do it from your profile. Um, so follow like an 80, 20 rule on all your social where you're posting content and 20% is promotional. So you don't want to constantly go pick me, pick me. Here's my new listing. Here's this, here's that. That's 20% of the time. The other 80% is good, cool content that might be behind the scenes. It might be a market update. People are interested in that. That's not self-promotional. That's educating. All right. It's about consistently growing your audience. You could use groups on Facebook. You can do a, a lot of different things here. Facebook stories, Facebook owns Instagram, so you can connect the two. All right. So sort of high level uh, overview on Facebook where Instagram is definitely stories. Instagram has moved. Instagram used to say when they first came out there, the photo sharing site, they have abandoned that now. If you last time, if you've been on Instagram, it is all about video. All right. It's all about videos. As a matter of fact, I have a quote coming up that the guy in charge of Instagram is like, we are, are not don't consider ourselves a photo sharing anymore it is all about and they got rid of IGTV last month and blended it into video uh, Instagram video because they need to compete with real uh, with um, TikTok and YouTube shorts and so forth. OK, so photos are fine. You can post there and, and get some action with that but it's stories every day. Cosmo, do you want to jump in about this? You, you know this stuff better. Feel free. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, each platform is very different. Um, you, know, you touched on Facebook. Facebook's all about connections with people that you already know. So family sphere, um, it's really important to, to bring your day-to-day -day or your thoughts from a friend perspective on Facebook. Instagram can be very different. Um, you need to, Instagram's a visual platform, right? It's always been, even though they're trying to switch the video, it's still a, a visually pleasant platform. So um, something we did, right, was the local businesses, but we also did home tours of new, new homes, right? People love looking at new homes. It's visually attractive. So Instagram's all about the visual concept. And then to layer on top of that, it's all about stories, which helps bring your personality through and that's where you really get that connection with people is through story. So if you do Instagram, you have to do stories every day. The beautiful thing with Facebook is it now connects there. So if you're making that personable content on stories, you're able to merge the two and, and really just get your personality through stories every day. And, and the thought process behind that is, is you just need to share your day to day. That, that's what... Uh, 
Instagram stories is like the old Facebook when somebody used to say like, hey, I'm going to the store or I'm going to the Raiders game or, you know, they used to post like one line about what they're doing or they're excited about stories is that but visually that's how I like to explain it It, it's through video and so uh, just explain your day-to-day explain the processes the the problem solving that you do on a day-to-day basis the properties you're looking for if you're setting up a search you know talk about that search like there's so much opportunity to create stories um, and and once you get consistent with it it becomes very easy but that that's what Instagram is about is is visual posts uh, highly visual pleasing posts with inform, you know some information and then stories which helps you stay in front of people consistently every day to stay top of mind and it goes uh, without saying on all the platforms if you're going to use it you got to engage and you got to answer people people like to direct message yeah. okay so instagram every time you get a follower i would dm them reason being the algorithm will put your information your videos your stories up above everybody else if you're communicating with people on DMs. So every new follower we get, we DM. That way our content is put in front of them immediately. And if they like their content, our content, they'll keep staying top of mind and we'll be the first ones that pop up. And the more DM, the more conversation you have there, you know, the more likely they're going to be able to see your stuff. And so a uh, really key there that you don't miss out on the personalization of or connection one-on-one, even though it's these major social platforms and you can get people, you know, the goal is to put it out in front of as many people as possible. Where you win as a business and agent is, is communicating with that person one-to-one. And so, um, you know, that, that's huge. Um, YouTube a little different and it's not for everybody. So let's. So YouTube is what we've primarily transitioned to. Um, I'm excited to say I'm going to go after we get out done with this meeting. I'm working with a YouTube client. So we're going to look at some condos that they're looking to invest in. But the idea around here on, on YouTube is very different. Um, this is long form content. It, it's not for everybody, but everybody can do it. And uh, there's different ways to go about it. If you're somebody that can have you know, talk for five, 10 minutes straight on a topic, it's going to become a little bit easier for you. If you're someone that needs scripting, we teach you how to do that. I started with scripting. I have a teleprompter. I read off a teleprompter and it worked for me. And so anybody can do it. It's, it, it is a little more difficult and you need to go all in, in, all in on YouTube, but it's so powerful because you become a celebrity to the person that connects with you. Um, 100% you are as much of a uh, celebrity as any actor or actress out there. Uh, Reason being is if they watch three or four of your videos at 10 minutes each, you've been in, um, in front of them for 30, 40 minutes. Their favorite movie the actor's not even in front of the screen for 30, 40 minutes. Maybe they're, you know, the, the main character is usually in front of the screen a lot. But even that, they're only in front of the screen 30, 40 minutes. Can you imagine, you know, you're being implanted in their brain when they're watching multiple unit uh, YouTube videos? Because you're in front of them as much as a celebrity is in front of them on a media thing. So you become this person that they know, like, and trust, and, and they value. And it's fun talking to YouTube leads um, by far. It's the best thing in the world um, because you don't have to win them over. They value your information. They value your expertise. They are listening to you 100%. You ask them or you tell them, hey, go get pre-approved. They're like, yeah, absolutely. Who can I talk to? Like this is, it's so different than from what I've dealt with, with Facebook leads that were, you know, numbers that came in and you had to call them. Like, it's just a different world. Um, And it's where, you know, you can get to with with all the social media platforms, you can get to this point, but YouTube, every lead is like that. It's not, it's not like uh, Facebook and Instagram where you may get, you know, somebody that sees one post or, or they see a bunch of things and they reach out to you. These are people that have spent 30 minutes to an hour to two hours, depending on how many videos you have, how many they watch, they spend that much time with you already. So, um, very powerful tool. Uh, There's a lot of detail and tips that go into starting out a YouTube channel. So um, I do have a course on that. Uh, And and there is, 
you know, a huge advantage to doing that the right way when you start out. Uh, if you don't do it that way, you're going to have a difficult time getting yourself out there. Um, but if you follow all the SEO guidelines and, and things that Google and YouTube um, recommend, um, I put that into a course for agents so that, you know, it's agent specific and they can really start off a strong channel um, and, and right off the bat, get viewership and uh, potentially some leads. So um, and trust us on this. Matt and I have been doing videos uh, well before we met Cosmo and we f- learned how to do it better. And we've already, you know, doubled the kind of reach that we have. And just a quick story to Cosmo's point. I'm doing the same thing here. It takes a while, like everything. I've been giving you this feedback that you don't just do something and do a video on YouTube and all of a sudden your business is on fire. You don't farm and send one mailer and you're on fire. You have to be consistent with it, okay? You have to just choose what you want to do. But to to his point, we've been doing video a long time and I had a call recently from an, uh, an aide or somebody filled out a form from our YouTube channel and I returned the call and the person was like, wow, I'm talking to you, Jan. I, I've been watching your videos, you know, and I feel like I feel like I was just going to get your business and somebody was going to talk to me like you're the person who does the videos, but you don't actually talk to me. That is what's going to happen to you. <laughs> what happened to Cosmo that just right? Cosmo is that what just happened to you? You're like, yeah, oh, I, thought and, I was going to get someone else, not a, you. You're the star of the show. A okay. good problem to have is this lead that I just talked to is, is you know, an example is they're like, I don't want to work with anybody else. I want to work with you. And like, OK, I'm, I'm fine with that at this point. Obviously, when you when you grow bigger you know, you may have systems in place, but even, you know, that's a good problem to have. And, and right. so, um, you know, the, they connected go back, with Cosmo. That's yeah, why. to go, go back to goal setting. One thing for us in, in 2022 is to create 48 videos. Um, so pretty much four videos a month at a minimum. Um, obviously I want to blow out that goal, but realistically one video a week is, is doable. Um, and, and just to talk about goals, going back to goal setting, Jen. Um, <laughs> All right, good. We, I heard you say Yeah, it. and we, we know that, you know, X amount of videos, if we look at statistics, leads to X amount of business. And so we're able to identify, hey, if we create 48 videos, we're going to get this much business. If we get this much business, you know, now we have referral business, we get this many referrals. And so we can compound this into... That's right our goals for 2022. And so that's, that's, uh, it's more help. Yeah. Uh, all right. So l- let me talk about two more here. LinkedIn. Don't forget LinkedIn. You know, there are people who are killing it on LinkedIn. If this is their thing, then they're on it. They're focused on it. They have an all-star profile. They're you, they're leveraging video articles, groups, and other things that can happen here. By the way, all the platforms have a way for you <coughs> to advertise as well. And I'm sorry, it, if you're hearing things, it's like it must be uh, the day to go and uh, cut the lawn. Um, okay, TikTok. We have to talk about TikTok because uh, some people are using TikTok, right? And Cosmo, you have any updates on this? I definitely yeah. So if you're a millennial, not this for is app, if you're looking to attract millennials, uh, this is absolutely the place to be. Um, you know, the category of you know, it is still primarily uh, you know from ages like 14 to 24 is the primary usage. Um, but the categories of 25 year old to 34 year olds are huge. And so I I've actually dabbled recently, Jen, in, in some TikTok videos. Um, and that that's where the age usage is, right? Um, I've even ran ads on TikTok to see what that would convert to. And, and that's the general population that um, I'll connect with. And so if you're, if you're somebody that's looking to connect from that 25 to 34 year range, uh, you need to know how to create the content for TikTok. Yep. It's very different um, for other platforms. You need to be high energy, direct, right away, deliver information quickly. Um, and then, you know, if it can be humor, entertainment, whatever the case may be. But if, if you're somebody that wants to work with 25 to 34 year olds, this is the platform to, to be on right now. Um, you could blow up very quickly. Um, I just put a couple of videos on there. They all got thousands of views and uh, we got a hundred plus followers already just from like four videos. And so what kind of videos are they about properties or are they about you talking so, about so something? My bread and butter, new home tours and right. uh, Good. people love it. Food, local food. And you do those two things. Um, it's going to attract a lot of viewership. You have to do it, you know, TikTok style. 
um, obviously throw your face in front of it. Something a lot of people don't do when they create content is they, they you need to brand yourself. And you Kazo, are we're going to, we're yeah. getting into the video, another piece yeah. on video, and we're going to come back to these social channels and talk about the kind of video to yeah, do. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's do that. All right. Great stuff in that video. You know, I love listening to Cosmo talk. I love it. You guys have been working really closely together on a lot of these techniques. And I love, I love it when you guys get into a conversation about it. It's awesome. You know, one thing we didn't talk about in that, uh, that segment, because a lot of people don't really consider this a social media necessarily, but we didn't talk about LinkedIn and LinkedIn is another valuable way of prospecting in real estate. And Jan has a course on LinkedIn um, that she put together, really talking about not only just building the perfect profile, because people are going to be looking for you on LinkedIn. Um, but a lot of other tips on LinkedIn as well. So don't for, don't, you know, head over to our site and kind of check that out as well. Any, any last thoughts on, on today's uh, snippet, Jan? Uh, no, I, I just think it's really about doing the research. I mean, doing your own uh, self-analysis and where your business comes from to know. And, you know, here's the thing. You don't have to necessarily say I'm going to be owned on one of the social media channels. If you're not going to spend any time on it, you might as well just like forget that then and move yeah. on to something else, right? Just move on to something. I mean, my whole thing right now is there's only so much time in the day. You have people that you know, your database, your sphere of influence. I'm all about choose two more things, two more pillars that you can really put your energy and focus on. And one of them could be social media. But if it's not for you, it's OK. But that's what that segment was all about. And and I think part of this discovery, Matt, is get have fun with this business. Be passionate about what it is that you're doing. If it, Find the parts that you like and you'll have success. You don't have to do 20 things. You can do three things and do them really well. Yeah, it's or three focus areas. Preach. That is a the truth there. So if you want to get access to the entire workshop that we just uh, showed you a snippet of today, um, go over to our website at WBNLcoaching.com. Go up to the top menu and there's a big green button called Dream Builders. It'll take you to this page right here where you'll be able to learn a little bit more about what you get when you become a Dream Builders. With also, we have a monthly training that's, uh, that we do every month. It's called Ask Us Anything. Plus, we also always do a little topic during that. Uh, we've got one coming up on December 15th. So if you uh, want to jump into that and you join our group, you'll have access to all of that. You also get access to all of our free courses. So we have four or five free courses that we're going to give you instant access to, along as, uh, as well as all of our free downloads. So uh, it's a plethora, literally, of documents that are going to help you in your business. And then we have things that are associated with that that will help you understand how to use all of those. Uh, access to early events. And there's also a member dis discounts on all of our courses there. So go over to WBNLcoaching.com, click on Dream Builders, and then down at the bottom of the page here is a registration form. Once you sign this, you will get instant access to all the stuff, and you will get a link actually to go over to our Facebook page right from there. So check that all out over at WBNLcoaching.com. So so Jan O'Brien, what's on the books for next week? We're going to talk listings because I love the segment we did on seven ways to get listings. Um, covered some of these in the past and recently revisited some of them and have had success with several of them. So we're going to share with you what a great way to, as we're going into the end of the year right. here, to think about how could you get some listings lined up right now or for the beginning of the year. So and the stuff, work, the stuff works. We're walking our talk. So That's we'll right. see you next week. Uh, and uh, once again, you can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com, episode 191. And be forever wandering, but not lost. Yeah, what it says right there. <laughs> oh, I'm